power system operation and control in the tap changing transformer case solved problem 1. So, two substations are connected by two lines in parallel with negligible impedance, but each containing a tap changing transformer of reactance 0.22 per unit on the basis of its rating 200 MVA. Find the net absorption of reactive power when the transformer taps are set to 1 is to 1.08 and 1 is to 0.95 respectively. Assume per unit voltages to be equal at the two ends. Solution. So, the given data, the tapping T1 is equal to 1.08, T2 is 0.95 and the voltage V1 is equal to V2 that is equal to 1.0 per unit and the reactance value is given as 0.22 per unit and the ratings of transformer is 200 MVA. So, using this given data, so first consider T is equal to T1, the first tap, apply the reactive power formula. So, magnitude of V2, magnitude of V1 into T minus V2 square into T square divided by X. So, direct formula you can apply this. So, V1, V2 is 1, T is equal to T1 and T1 is equal to 1.08. So, 1.08 minus here 1.08 square divided by the reactance 0.22. So, substituting you will be getting minus 0.3927 per unit. So, QT1 is equal to minus 0.3927 per unit. So, the negative sign indicates that the reactive power flow is a leading one from sending in substation 1 to substation 2. Second one, tap T is equal to T2. So, applying the formula V2 V1 into T minus V2 square T square divided by X and T is equal to 0.95 here. So, 0.95 minus 0.95 square divided by 0.22 that gives you 0.2159 per unit. So, here the positive sign comes. So, positive sign indicates that the reactive power flow is a lagging one from substation 1 to substation 2. So, hence the total reactive power will be equal to QT1 plus QT2. Adding this two will be getting a negative answer minus 0.1768 per unit. So, QT is equal to in terms of MVAR minus 0 0.1768 into 200 which is minus 35 MVAR. So, the net absorption of reactive power is 35 MVAR. So, here we are getting a answer in negative. Thus, the net absorption of reactive power is 35 MVAR.